All right, I am really excited today. I'm Jason Haven, by the way, if you don't know who I am yet, if you haven't been watching some of the videos I've been putting out, but I'm really excited today to start a new feature and go beyond just the area where I'm living around Dane County and go local Wisconsin. Um, I really love small business. Most of you who know me understand that. I'm very involved in Dane by Local, but I'm happy to talk to small business owners all around the state, and that's what I want to do with this new feature. So today we are starting by bringing it back home and bringing in not just an old friend, but an old neighbor, Gloria. How the heck are you doing up there in Elgin, Wisconsin? Good. Doing good. Hanging in there. <laughs> um, I think you put your coat on in solidarity with me because I'm in the basement. It's a little chilly down here. <laughs> I haven't been in the store. It's been closed, so I have not been cranking on the heat. So yeah, it's chilly. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're here to talk about your great local business in Algoma, Wisconsin. And first of all, Gloria, tell us a little bit about, um, about what the business is. We'll define that and then we'll tell a little more about your story. So it is an apothecary boutique, which um, apothecary is basically an old term for medicinal pharmacy, holistic pharmacy. So I do different herbs here, um, essential oils, uh, crystals, uh, incense, different things for aromatherapy to ease your mind your body, your spirit. Um, I try to focus on helping people heighten their vibrational frequencies. Uh, everybody has their own energy. And if you are around people that are bringing you down or eating, you know, processed food, drugs, alcohol, depression, all that kind of stuff, um, it brings your frequency down. So the lower your frequency is, the lower your immune system is. So basically all the things that I do here um, help boost that up. Supplements, herbs, oils, all that kind of stuff. Boost up your frequency, keep you healthy and happy. And you have some great uh, jewelry and other items too, gift items, lots of good, great gift items that we're talking about the holiday season coming up. But uh, you have, I mean, there's just a lot with your shop. It's very unique, very special and very, there is a lot. very you. Very I know. Gloria. <laughs> I just basically opened up a store of everything that I love, everything that I want, and that I want to buy for myself. So when I order, I have to remind myself that I do have to sell it or I keep it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, so I know you're big on on Facebook. So I'm going to pull up your Facebook page and you tell us a little bit about the kind of stuff people can find from you on Facebook. So um, if you can see on my, my cover page, there's the essential oils. Um, that's kind of what I started out with um, about uh, seven years ago. I started doing classes um, and really realized what they were. So that's kind of what my shop kind of the base was. Um, so uh, we've got that. There is a shop button that you can hit the uh, view shop, which um, I've got a lot of right now. It's mostly apothecary items. Um, I've got some CBD products. Um, yeah, I just added some stuff, but I still have not gotten to the jewelry, the incense, crystals, um, cheese. There's a lot I haven't gotten to yet. So basically my apothecary is up there about 40%, 50% of it. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to continue to uh, update that. So watch out for that. So your home base online is Facebook, right? Not a, yeah. not a website at this point. So we're, we're no, Facebook. not yet. Okay. Yeah. But you have that great shop option right there where you're showing more products, prices, and people can actually shop right from there, which is fantastic. Or, they can contact you, right? So how do they get a hold of yep. you, Gloria? Uh, they can contact me through my phone number, which is on the website. I can give it to. It's 920-471-5091. Um, texting is better. I just, I get it quicker and um, I'm at home. So not going on there. But yeah, I typically respond pretty quick. You can also message there's a message option on my Facebook page so you can message and I should uh, be able to get that relatively quick. So um, I'm doing right now I'm doing delivery. I'm doing free shipping. Um, I do do a lot of drop offs. You know, people stop at my house locally. Um, if it's like I said, if it's far away, I, I do free shipping, stuff like that. So anything anybody needs really just contact me and I can send pictures or whatever. And you just got a new like. I can't believe I didn't like that page. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Me? Did it. Shame on you. I'm sorry, Gloria, but you got one there. Um, hey, that's great. So we got all your info right there. We'll come back to that as well, uh, just to tell people more about you. But you have, so we talk about the shop and I know it's closed right now, but this shop has a really special meaning to you, doesn't it? Tell us more about the history behind the space that you have. 
It does actually. Um, in the early nineties. And I don't know if, do you remember when my dad had a shop here? Um, it was a tropical fish store, uh, his pet shop. So um, yeah, he was in this space. It looked a lot different and there was a lot of different stores in it in between. But um, I had a, a different location when I very first started out four years ago and I needed to make a move. So I actually, I had a dream about this location, which was not even for rent. And I was like, oh, I should check that out. And it turns out that um, my landlord, the guy that owned it, happens to be one of my dad's good friends. And this, but he didn't realize who I was. So it was just kind of all a chain of events and fate. And here I am. Um, I'm trying to get my dad to find a picture of him, you know, when he had his shop in here. So I can put it up. But um, back then it was all camcorder VHS. So he doesn't have any pictures. But yeah, so it's it's pretty neat. Um, you know, it's like it, it's just the energy in here. It's it's got really great energy. Yeah, I love your shop. Uh, we've been there. You know, I took the family there. A uh, recent trip up to Algoma, well, recently for me because it's been few and far in between this this year. But uh, but it was nice to see the place, see you. Um, my kids loved it. They still love it. They still talk about it. They still remember the name. Oh, great. They remember you. Great. They love it. And, and that's, that's a, awesome. a thing that's pretty cool too. I mean, obviously you have some specific things there for people, um, for adults, but you have stuff for the whole family. Yeah. You know, um, my biggest thing before I opened the store was that, um, we used to go to the Renaissance fair every year and my daughter and I, the first place we would run to is this, if, if anybody's ever run to the Bristol Renaissance fair, there's, I call them the man in the box and you give him like a quarter or whatever. And he's got all these crystals and the charms hanging and he'll give you something. And the kids just go crazy for that. And that was like my daughter's favorite part. So I thought, you know, I'm going to have a dish of crystals for kids. Uh, so when they come in, you know, it's a big deal for parents when you folk, when you do stuff like that for kids. It is for me, you know, when stores cater to children like that. A lot of people come in here and they're like, don't touch anything. Don't you know what I mean? And it's like I have a four year old. I mean, stuff gets broken all the time. I'm not even worried about it. So so people, you know, they 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 feel better about coming in. I would know at these times you're temporarily closed and you talked about mm -hmm. the transition, how you, you know, you're, you're selling stuff online, you're delivering, uh, you're shipping, uh, free shipping, which is incredible by the way. But um, obviously this, this pandemic has been tough. Um, you can speak to that and your experience with it. Cause I think it's been difficult in so many different ways for so many different people. All the small business owners have a different angle for it. Um, you know, we've got the bars here, so they've got their own issues um, and then shops like myself. Um, and then we have art galleries, you know, um, there's a lot of different kind of stores here. I've noticed mainly the art crowd, the art stores, people that are open more for like the art street gatherings, um, Clan Steel, Yonder, um, the bookstore, Yardstick, uh, we're all closed, you know, we're all closed. Um, I think I've been the only one out of that group that's actually op that I opened in the summer for a couple months. Um, they've not opened at all. They're doing, you know, online and all that and delivery and stuff. I want to be able to sleep at night knowing that I did everything that I could to prevent anybody from getting anything. Um, even if you know they say we're all going to get it sometime, well, I'd rather later than sooner. You know. Um, my grandmother's in an assisted living. My parents are recovering from, you know, they both had cancer. Um, other family members have conditions. So it's just, I have kids. I, you know, and this, this disease does not just affect, you know, it's just not like a cold. People want to say, it's just like a cold. You're going to get over it. Well, some people, some people have no symptoms, but in the long run, they've found that it affects your organs too. And blood clots, all that kind of stuff. I just, it's not worth it to me. It's not worth it to me. And honestly, um, Governor Evers has come up with some great um, loan programs and grant programs for small businesses. And I jumped right at those to see if I qualified and I did. So luckily for, for me in my position, um, he created those grants and stuff. So I've been luck lucky enough to, you know, use those to stay afloat. Um, and my online sales, stuff like that, it, it, it helps a little bit. It's definitely not where it would normally be, but here we are just all trying to, you know, make it. So 
I was curious about what type of assistance there was in other parts of the state here. Cause I know Dane County where I am specifically had a whole nother venture outside of some of the statewide things. And that was really helpful to so many businesses around here. And I was hopeful there were things in other parts of the state. And I was glad to see the governor the, and, and his group really step up throughout Wisconsin. Um, and I know you, Gloria, talking about that, the other powerful part, I think, for so many small businesses is banding together with other local businesses. And you just plugged like 10 businesses in what you were talking <laughs> about before. Like they all need to send you a check now. Um, but, <laughs> but, but that's so amazing. Like that's, that's really for small businesses to get a bigger voice pooling together like that, you know, just to get more awareness is huge. So I, I think that's something you've done a great job of too. We kind of try to band together because we did that whole art thing and you know, that kind of stuff. So we, we actually message each other and, and ask, are you going to be open or what are you doing? What do you think? You know, all that kind of stuff. So there are a lot of amazing businesses here. Um, I'm kind of curious to see where the winter is going to take us because Algoma is definitely a summer town. You know, we, we get most of our business in the summertime. You know, it's a big fishing town. So I'm trying to do everything virtually, you know, by phone, everything. Um, and like I said, there's not a whole lot open right now. I know well, Amber's Attic's open. Um, I think Country Covered, Steel Street Trading, Hello Dolly. And then my neighbor, um, Waterfront Creations. I don't know if you know the Gow, the Gow family. You know Sean Gow. He lived, yes, his son has a store next to me. Um, he makes his own uh, goat's milk soap and, all, and lotion. So, um He's really trying to, you know, and this is his first year. He just opened. Mm. Um, so he's kind of bummed that he didn't get the summer, the summer flood in, you know, the shanty days crowd and all that, because we're right uh, in the center of shanty days. You know what I'm saying? So we get hit hard. I mean, it's a big weekend for, for businesses right here. And he's just bummed out, but I'm like, hang in there, kid. You know, it's his first year. It's been a, it's been a, crazy year and one will never forget, of course, but I'd like how so many business owners have transitioned and made their way through and are, are still trying to navigate. And you're doing that uh, clearly and you're doing it at a, in a way that you're comfortable with. So yeah. other people can do some of the things they're going to do, but you're doing it your way and your pace. And that's fantastic. That's what you got to do. Hopefully I'm pretty sure everybody in town is requiring masks. You know, that's another thing in the beginning People were not happy. I got threatened, you know, that they, they weren't going to come here anymore and they were going to report me. You know, people are trying to say that that's against their, um, that I'm discriminating. Because you were requiring masks right away, right? Yeah. I, as soon as I opened up, I'm trying to think, I think I opened up in the end of June and they weren't, I don't believe that they were required um, but the first month. Yeah. I believe that they started the mandate in July. Mm -hmm. Um I required them right away. And then, um, and I actually provided them too. I provide them. So yeah, people, I put a big thing on my page saying, you know, this is how it is. But if you, if you don't feel comfortable wearing a mask, you can call me from outside or yell in the door and say, Hey, can you grab me or, you know, whatever. And I'll run it out there or drop it off. You know, it's just about being in here. And, you know, I have a girl that sometimes works for me. Her son has issued respiratory issues. You know, it's just so many things I wasn't going to risk. So some people have issues that they can't wear masks. Some people don't have issues and say they have issues, you know? And so that's kind of where I got um, stuck between there and, yeah, they threatened me and all kinds of stuff. And I just stuck to my, I, I mean, I don't care what happens. I'm doing what I got to do for everybody to be safe. I mean, people can threaten me all they want. It, um, it is what it is. I mean, regardless of that, you are being thoughtful and considerate of other people and trying to, you know, take the as many precautions as you can. And there, if anyone wants to argue with that, well, I'm sorry, but my opinion is they're in the wrong and you're in the right. Yeah. So. What are some of your favorite items that you have in your store or that you have available to people? Everything. I, know you, you I want everything. You love them all. Um, <laughs> geez. Well, I do have a local um, jewelry maker, Lori Jurgensen. She does gyps. She's part of gypsy soul. So she does a lot of um, great necklaces and bracelets and earrings. Um, sometimes she will go, 
um, to Michigan or, you know, she goes to the lake and she finds a lot of natural agate. So she polishes up her stones and she makes stuff out of things she found and does upcycled stuff. So that's great. Um, Jody Hawk has a bunch of jewelry here and she makes scarves. So I don't know the, ju the jewelry. I have great jewelry. So <laughs> probably that and crystals. Some great stuff for sure. I, I just think it's so when I heard you had open your own business, I thought that was just, and then I found out what the business was about. I thought, man, that's right up her alley. That's just fantastic. I've uh, actually had teachers come here from grade school and high school. <laughs> and they're like, wow, this is totally you. I'm like, no, So what does it feel like for, for people that don't ever get to experience that? Now, I know there's a lot of stress and there's other things that go along with being a small business owner and owning your own place. But what does it feel like to be surrounded by stuff you love all the time when you're as part of your business, like that's what you do. And I, I love all these things that I have here. Like, what does that feel like for people who work a job that they don't really enjoy or, or, or kind of feel like they're stuck in, in a position and never get to do what they want to do? What does it feel like to do that? Um, it's, it's pretty amazing. You know, um, I did daycare for a long time before this. Um, so to run my own business, it's an, obviously it's different because this is retail and you're dealing with a lot more, but I feel like I'm a leader. And I have, a, I don't think I can work for other people, <laughs> you know, like I, I could work for if I had to, but I just, I like being in charge and I like doing the things that I want to do. So um, it's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling. Um, a lucky, you know, not everybody is lucky enough to be able to do something like this. Um, everything just came together. You know, like I said, I started doing this four years ago and um, I had partners, things changed, and I ended up going off on my own, which um, proved to be really successful. And I got to move into the store that my dad used to have. I already had a base clientele. So, you know, the the grand opening of this spot was just insane. My aunt was helping me out and I opened at one o'clock and it was just like people waiting outside the door. And I was open till late at night. I mean, I was exhausted and it was just unbelievable you know, without my customers and I mean, the town, you know, growing up here in five generations, you know how it is being a local, you tend to, you get, even if they don't agree with you, they'll side with you because you're a local. You know what I'm saying? Like you've got that. We, we're very, in Algoma, we're very clicky. We are, it's, it's, that's the way it is. So man, I've got so many local people and, you know, people say they don't think I'm open during the winter, like even on a normal year. And I am, it's my, my base clients are locals, all locals. So, um, and to be surrounded by all this stuff, it just, it makes me happy. You know, I just, I come in and I crank up my music and I'm singing out loud. And sometimes I'm dancing around my store. And during the summertime, I have the door open and I'm burning incense and oils and people will come in and they'll say, oh, I could smell you down the street. That's why we came in, you know? So I'm like, Awesome. It's working. You know, it's just, it's worked out so amazing. And I just love it. Honestly, it's, it's just made my life really. I mean, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. And people think about how long can I make this work? How long can I make this last? I mean, I'm never closing. <laughs> I will never close. It's just not happening. I mean, this is, you know, this is my space. This is my, this is, this is me. That's fantastic. And the other thing I'll say is there's, absolutely nothing like that in Algoma. If so, right. if, you, if you didn't do this, who would, it wouldn't be there and it adds flavor and it adds uniqueness and it makes it special. And I think it helps with the destination aspect under normal, you know, traveling and, and yep. tourism situations. Like your business is a reason to come to Algoma, which is fantastic. It really is. And it's, it's crazy to me. Um, I've had people coming from like Nina, Menasha, I'm in Kiwani County, obviously, I'm pretty much the only person that does this kind of stuff. But you've got, and I think that's what makes my business successful is I'm in a small town. Nobody really knows about this kind of stuff. So I'm kind of the go-to, um, you know, in Brown County, Green Bay, Appleton, they do have a lot of places like this, but you know, we're all different and similar in ways. Um, but yeah, we, I can remember Two summers ago, we had um, we had like a monsoon here. It was insane. Like we had super bad flooding, and I'm sure your parents told you about it. And you may have even gotten it. It was like July, 
And I went to drop off the kids at my parents and I was just soaked from the car, you know, to the house. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait this out. I'm like, I got to go. So, you know, I come in and there, there's that whole street that's, I always call it ground zero because when it rains, that street's going to get shut down and it was shut down all across town. So you couldn't even cross it. And I, I know. And I had this woman call me and she left a message. She said, we're coming, we're coming from Menasha or somewhere. I think maybe it might've even been Bondi. Well, I don't even know. It was really far away. And I'm like, do not come here. Like the town closed. The city closed down. You could not get in town. And she's like on her way. And I'm like, it's nuts here. And she's like, yeah, we drove through that, but we need to, well, I want to come to your store. I'm like, no, don't <laughs> come a different time. So it's just impresses me and just amazes me how people actually, you know, come from all over or they'll, you know, they'll be on vacation. Oh, I, I Googled you or I looked you up and I, we had to come here. So it's, it's really, um, it's inspiring and, you know, it's nice. Oh, man, that's that's some good stuff right there, Gloria. Yeah. I think you, like I said, I mean, you're you've always been a unique person in a very good way, and you bringing that to Algoma and really putting that out there with your business, I think, is fantastic. Because let's be uh, let's be honest, the town needs a little something like that, right? It really does. Yeah, um, Algoma's always kind of been vanilla yeah. <laughs> so, you know what i mean like it, it's come since when we were kids um i guess that's what i thought it's it's come around a lot um in the last 15 20 years yeah. um you know with redoing just things in town we had the wall dogs come here a couple years ago did those art murals on businesses you know that was um a big thing like door county is very artsy you know they do a lot of things i think that algoma has kind of looked up to them in the past, whatever, many years, and kind of followed in their their footsteps with that kind of stuff, you know, um, trying to make it more art friendly, trying to make it more touristy, outside of, uh, you know, this just being a fishing town. So, um, you know, that's kind of always what Algoma was, a fishing town. But now we've got all these different things going on and great businesses and, you know, new ideas. Things are changing every year. So, I mean, in the summertime, it's just, there's something going on every single weekend. The winery does the concert series, you know, um, we've got food trucks. Um, a lot of the bars do the outside music. Uh, it's unfortunately this year, you know, things could have been better for everybody. So, yeah. Oh, we're working our way through it and we'll we get through it. And leaders like you, cause you are a leader. Leaders like you are gonna help Algoma, places like that get through this pandemic better and stronger. And I love your business. I think. Thank you. And I love your flair and I love what you do. I uh, just love your aura. Thanks. All of it. And I'm telling my you. My energy's coming through. Yes. And I'm telling you, my kids still talk about, you know, they were like, great. what, a year and a half ago we were at your yeah. shop, I think. My kids are still talking about it. They still remember it. And they still remember Gloria and how nice she was. And she gave them a crystal and did all this stuff. And we got this, you know, piece of jewelry there. It's just. It's great. And you're, so you're bringing joy to my kids and a whole bunch of other people's kids and adults. And we love it. So keep it up. Stay Thank well. You. Stay safe. I don't have to tell you to stick to your guns because you do that. Right. <laughs> I will. So, but Gloria, you're awesome. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you doing this. Thank you this. so much. And uh, we're going to get this out and hopefully, uh, you know, let more people know about your fate store. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So that's Gloria Moore with Bella Luna Apothecary. And you are an amazing person. We really appreciate you. And thanks for being the first, the first guest of Go Local Wisconsin. Right? No problem. Thank you for doing this. All right. Take care. We'll talk to you soon with another local business.